Welcome to a video on rates. The goals of this video are to determine rates and also to determine unit rates. A rate is a ratio that compares two quantities with different units. As a result, the units must always be included. And a unit rate is a rate when the denominator is equal to one. And unit rates have a lot of real life applications that we'll take a look at in our examples. If you go on a trip to California and you drive 342 miles on 15.4 gallons of gas, the ratio of miles to gallons, which is a rate, would be written as we see here, 342 miles to 15.4 gallons, or often we just say 342 miles per 15.4 gallons. If we want to know the miles per gallon or miles per one gallon, we would determine the unit rate. So we would want to rewrite this rate with a denominator of one gallon. So if we were to take 15.4 gallons and divide by 15.4, that would give us one gallon. And as you know from your work with fractions, we can do this as long as we do the same to the numerator. So if we take 342 miles and divide by 15.4, we'll have the number of miles per one gallon. Let's go ahead and do that. 342 divided by 15.4. We'll go ahead and round this to the nearest tenth, so it's approximately 22.2 .2 miles per one gallon. So here we have our rate, and here we have our unit rate. And as you know, when you see ads for cars, Manufacturers usually express this unit rate as 22.2 .2 mpg, representing the miles per one gallon. Here's another example. Marissa finished the six mile race in 51 minutes. What is the rate of minutes per miles? So we're comparing minutes to miles, therefore the rate would be 51 minutes per six miles. If we want to know the unit rate or minutes per one mile, we would take this rate and rewrite it with a denominator of one mile. So we'll divide this by six, that would give us one mile, and we'll do the same to the numerator. So 51 divided by six will tell us how many minutes per one mile. Looks like we have 8.5 minutes per one mile. Another great use of unit rates is when you're trying to determine the best buy of similar products. As you know, when you go to the store and compare brands, it's sometimes confusing because the size of the package is never the same. So here, when we're comparing two brands of coffee, brand A costs $6.25 for 18 ounces, and brand B costs $5.15 for 14 ounces. If we can find the unit rate for each of these, or the cost per ounce, we can determine which one is the best buy. So let's go ahead and write our rates and then determine the unit rates. The first rate would be $6.25 per 18 ounces and brand B would be $5.15 per 14 ounces. So we'll go ahead and rewrite these as unit rates so the denominator will be one ounce in both cases. So we'll divide this by 14 to get the one, and we'll do the same to the numerator. And for this first rate, to get a denominator of one ounce, we'll divide both of them by 18. So we can see our denominators will be one in both cases. Let's now determine the cost per ounce. So we have $6.25 divided by 18, and then we also have $5.15 divided by 14. So you can see that brand A is almost 35 cents per ounce, while brand B is almost 37 cents per ounce. Let's go ahead and record this information on the screen. And from this we can see pretty easily that brand A is cheaper. Let's go ahead and take a look at another one of these. Here we're comparing two brands of juice where the first rate is $3.25 for 64 ounces 
and brand B is $2.50 per 40 ounces. So again, our unit rate would be the cost per ounce. So on this first rate, we would divide by 64. And on the second rate, we would divide by 40 to make our denominators equal to one ounce. Let's go back to our calculator. $3.25 divided by 64 and $2.50 divided by 40. So you can see brand A is approximately five cents per ounce and brand B is a little bit more than six cents per ounce. Let's go ahead and record this. And it looks like brand A is cheaper again. Therefore the best buy. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and have a good day.